Hi guys, it's Pete here from Hands Across the Water and I wanted to uh, reach out to all of the blueprint writers and uh, uh, just check in how you're going for a couple of things uh, before the ride, which is not too far away. Uh, firstly, I want to talk to you about your training and see where that's at and also uh, your fundraising. Um, as, as you might be aware, we just returned a few weeks ago from the January uh, rides uh, and uh, there were six of us that did the 1600 and uh, a whole heap others who did either the 800 Northern Ride or the 800 Southern Ride. And uh, and i got to tell you, the uh, Southern Ride had uh, um, one of the fastest groups that I've ridden in. And it wasn't because of the speed at the front, but it was at the speed at the back that made the difference. And what it showed was the value of training, the value of being out on your bike, the value of putting in the Ks uh, before you get to Thailand. You guys are heading over and it's gonna be warmer than what we were riding in in January. So it's even more important that you get out and you do the training because what happens is when you come into the water stops, you, your recovery time is just so much quicker if you've done the training. So I can't emphasize enough between now and when you head over to Thailand to spend time on the bike. I know that it's hard and I know that um, you're all busy and running your businesses and lives and, and changing the world in the way that you do it, but find time uh, to get on the bike. And you know, if it's a case of doing a couple of spin classes a, a week, if it's a case of getting out on the weekends or after work while it's still beautiful weather and putting in a longer run, uh, longer ride, we'll find time to do that because it, it really does make a difference. And if you can amp up your training between now and then, you'll enjoy the ride so much more. You'll come into each of the water stops in a better condition and you'll be better positioned to jump on your bike and, and head out from each of the water stops. So, so do that. You don't have to be riding, for those that are new to it, you don't have to be riding 100 k's. Uh, before you get there. But what you certainly need to be doing is putting in some rides that are increasing in distance and you're picking up your speed. So when you get to Thailand, if you've been doing some rides that are up around 40 or 50 Ks in duration and you're getting your speed up around 24 Ks an hour, you'll be fine. You can back a couple of them together then before you go, get a couple of longer rides in. Remember to take time and uh, drink plenty of water but spend time on the bike. I can't emphasize that enough. It just makes such a difference. You, want, you don't want to go to all the effort that you've gone to in taking time off the fundraising and, and everything and then be disappointed with your, uh, with your performance. So just like you do in business, you've got to work at it. So get on the bike, spin the legs, and you'll enjoy it. In relation to the fundraising, there's still time to go. And remember that the fundraising is what really makes a difference to the lives of the kids in Thailand. There's plenty of things you can do. There's so much support within the Business Blueprint uh, community for the riders that are, are doing it for the first time or even the riders who are going back to the same well and uh, struggling uh, to, to raise their funds they're finding it a bit harder reach out to the support team within blueprint reach out to the support team at hands we've got two raffles that are running we've got the uh, sunbeam big prize raffle that'll be drawn on the 9th of march so there's still time to sell tickets for that and then we'll be launching the, the uh, Silver Seas Cruise again uh, very soon, which gives you another opportunity to sell something different. Uh, so get into contact with us if you need help with the fundraising. Again, it's no different than the training. You've got to keep chipping away and, uh, and plan it. You know, no different than what you do in business. Plan what you're going to do. Seek advice from those that have done it before. And if you need help, reach out, ask. Uh, the team at Hands are here to help. The team at Blueprint are there to help. People like Bo and Dale who have smashed this so many times. All the support staff. M does an amazing job in making this a great experience for you. So reach out. I know that you'll have a fantastic time and, and sometimes this time of the year in the lead up to the ride is hard. It, it's that three quarter stage and you know the excitement's a bit gone. You're stuck in the worry of the fundraising, the training, but trust me, when you get over there, you get on that bike, it'll all be worthwhile. So hang in there, uh, continue to do the amazing things that you're doing because it allows us to do the work we're doing in Thailand. Thanks for all the effort you've put in so far. I know you're going to have an amazing experience and, uh, um, and just uh, continue to do what you're doing. All the best, guys. Bye.